We have breaking news from the NHL. We have our first suspension of the postseason with Canucks defenseman Carson Soucy getting the ban. We'll discuss what happened and how many games coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some breaking news. We have an NHL suspension, our first one of the 2024 Stanley Cup playoffs. Vancouver defenseman Carson Soucy has been suspended for one playoff game for an incident that happened at the end of game three last night between the Edmonton Oilers and the Vancouver Canucks. Now, the Canucks end up taking the game to have a 2-1 series lead. It's been a chippy affair, lots of physicality, which is also, you know, very entertaining, which is great. But after the game was over, the Oilers, of course, were pressing, trying to tie it up, had the goalie out, six on five. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there was a penalty. Anyways, it was, it was the last minutes of the game, trying to get the game tied up. When, after the buzzer goes, McDavid's behind the net and then kind of, I don't know, in a mouthing uh, situation with Carson Soucy. It starts with Soucy shoves McDavid and then McDavid gives him a, a, a slash. It, was a, it wasn't overly aggressive in my opinion and it was in the shin pad. Soucy then gets him one back and then Soucy brings his stick up and as he does this, it looks like he's getting ready to cross check McDavid. And as he's doing that, Nikita Zadorov comes in from behind McDavid and shoves him with a cross check of his own from behind. And of course, that causes McDavid to hunch over. And instead of uh, Susie getting McDavid, I'm assuming he was aiming for the upper body chest area. I don't think he was deliberately trying to get him in the face. But because of what Zadorov did, pushing him into Susie, it caused him to get him right in the mouth. So essentially, for the most part, I think if Sodorov doesn't get involved, then I don't think anything really escalates to the point that there's any kind of suspensions or fines. It, just two players, you know, kind of shoving each other with some minor slashes, I would call it. If it doesn't go beyond that, nothing happens, obviously. Um, I know I see a lot of Vancouver fans and media saying, well, why does McDavid get nothing out of all this? Well, he wasn't shoved from behind or he wasn't the one who did the shoving from behind and he's not the one who did any cross testing to the face and all honesty you can shove and light taps like really like the, the slash that you're talking about really they say mcdavid started it i don't think he did i think it was mutual the first shove to me comes from susie when the camera pans to them um regardless i don't think mcdavid did anything that would be over the line um at all i mean zadorov is comes from behind and shoves them with a cross check right into another player who's got a stick up. So it's like a tag team. So Zadorov did get fined. He's fined $5,000, which is the max uh, allowed under the CBA for cross checking. And Susie gets a one game ban. Now, don't get me wrong. This is going to be a big blow for the Canucks. They're likely going to put Noel Juleson in the lineup. I know Coach Rick Tocchet has said that he was hoping to get him into the series in some capacity anyway. This would be a necessity. Um, but Susie. You know, Zadorov, Myers, they've got some big guys there on the back end. And they've been playing really physical and obviously they play a big role. And that's been a big part of the series and why Vancouver has been able to uh, take the lead. I mean, it's one only one part of it, though. The goalie, Arthur uh, Shilovs, has been phenomenal. Definitely outplaying Stuart Skinner, which hasn't been that difficult, mind you. Uh, Stuart Skinner does have one of the worst... Um, save percentages amongst all playoff goalies in the last while. Like, it, it's not good. And then on top of that, um, at 5-on-5, five five, the Oilers have struggled to score. They're not getting anything from their bottom six. If Leon and Connor only have average or below average nights, they, they just and it's not enough. It's just that simple. Like, their third and fourth lines, they're getting absolutely nothing from. Even the second line is not producing. Like, they're doing well in the power play, but... Five on five, there's not much there. So at the end of the day, like you know, the Canucks have done a good job of containing the Oilers. Um, they're winning certain battles of the game, which is allowing them to take the series lead. And Susie's not it's not going to be the end-all, be-all here. It's not like the Canucks are going to crumble without him, but they're going to miss him back there for sure. And he certainly, like I said, plays a role in kind of helping shut down that powerful offense of the Oilers and being physical on them, whatever. So let me know your thoughts on the suspension for Carson Susie. I'm surprised we haven't seen the same kind of reaction from player safety to some of the stuff that Sam Bennett has done in the uh, Boston, Florida series. Uh, sucker punch and Brad Marchand. We have full... Um, Full angles of that. Nothing came from it. 
not a fine, not a suspension, not nothing. Um, but here we are. I, I do think Susie deserves a suspension. I think one game is totally fine, in my opinion. And I do not see a reason here to slot McDavid with anything. Um, I, I think what him and Susie were doing originally was just after the whistle stuff that you see all the time. Um, that's the other reason why this is a suspendable play too, is it doesn't happen after the whistle. It's the, the, not after the whistle, the game is over. Um, Zadorov did not need to like, really Zadorov was the culprit here more so. Cause like I said, if he doesn't shove him from behind, I don't think that cross check hits uh, McDavid in an area that where it becomes a more of a sus- suspendable offense. I mean, you can call penalties after the whistle if you want, give them misconducts or something, but it's not really going to do anything for a, you know, supplemental, discipline beyond that game so we'll see anyway let me know your thoughts on this susi suspension down in the comments we'll talk about it further if you're new to the channel of course make sure you subscribe and stick around we'll keep you up to date with the latest news rumors and analysis of all 32 nhl teams thanks for watching i'll catch you next time